What really started the interest that ultimately brought me to Africa was that the ministry faculty that I work with, we've, we've had for many years a desire to have a ministry outreach where we're not simply duplicating what others are doing. We really wanted to, to, to fill an important niche to serve in strategic places. And as we began to pray that God would open those doors, the opportunity to meet uh, you, Steve, and work with Item and learn of their ministry, we sensed that perhaps this was uh, a partnership that we could pursue. Ultimately, I came to Africa because I wanted to see the kind of work that Item is doing. Uh, I wanted to know the, the quality of the training. Uh, I wanted to see for myself the, the needs that were really here, the number of pastors and where they were serving and, and how much impact they could have. And, and so the only way I could do that was to come here to Cameroon and see one of the training conferences in person. Now that I've been a part of the training, here's what I've seen. Uh, first of all, the training is, is high quality. Uh, grounded in the Word. I think what moved so many pastors from different denominations to come and help to dissolve some of those denominational lines was a clear and obvious commitment to the Scriptures. If they were willing to come and hear the Scriptures, all were welcome. And I was moved by their desire and their willingness to hear the Scriptures. And I was moved and uh, blessed by Item's commitment to focus on the Word. So Item really does live up to Sola Scriptura, grounding its teaching and grounding its ministry philosophy in the Word itself. So that even pastors who may disagree, ultimately they come back to looking at the Scriptures. And that's all that we can ask them to do. And so Item has made a clear commitment to Scripture. Also now that I've been here, uh, I've seen the need we thought we would have 25 to 30 pastors from this region and we ended up having 89 and there would have been more if we would have opened the doors even wider. Uh, it's clear that the need is here to train pastors. As I look at it, I think it's an incredible missions investment. A lot of times we focus on just the evangelism and we reach people and they come to Christ and then um, they stagnate in their faith and the outreach is limited. Uh, the impact is really um, narrowed and shortened just because we're only reaching those people that we are in direct contact with. But items focus on training pastors who can in turn train others in their area has opened a door of ministry that is multiplied far beyond what any single in individual missionary could do. And so that has is, is impressed me about the opportunity to impact many people's lives for Christ.